eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi and today we're gonna make some amazing red corn adipas. Let me give you a tip. Wash well our corn. Sometimes you can get old corn. If your corn floats to the top, then it's old. If it stays at the bottom, it's good. You can just get rid of the ones that float. Once you've washed your corn really well with clean water, put it back into a bowl and cover it with twice the amount of water. Look at how beautiful it is. You leave it there for 24 hours if you live in a place that is too hot. After about eight hours, just refrigerate it until the next day. Now, the next day, you're gonna see how it's plumped. They are beautiful, red, and ready to be cooked. If you cook it in a pressure cooker like I'm doing, it's gonna take an hour for them to cook. You don't have to add anything, no salt, no oil, nothing. Just your corn and the water. The amount of water is not important actually because you're gonna get rid of the extra water anyways. Ooh, what beautiful corn. It looks creamy inside, beautiful red. Oh, I love these and they're so easy to make. So now they're already cooked. We're gonna leave them within the water and allow them to cool a little bit. Then just place them into your food processor. Here I had four cups. It doesn't matter how many cups you have because all you're gonna do is measure, press them and eat them. I was measuring them because I needed to get their nutritional value. Here we go. Look at this. It's perfect. You see, you can press it and you see it holds together. And it's full of fiber, beautiful and delicious. That taste of fresh organic corn is out of this world. So now, take an ice cream scoop and make all your little scoops of beautiful red corn, arepas, tortillas or flatbreads. I'm covering them with some paper towels that have been moistened because it's gonna take me a while before I press them. And I want them to keep humid, otherwise they'll dry out and just become very crumbly. Press them in a tortilla press if you have one. Otherwise, what you can do is press them more or less depending on how you like them, thinner or thicker. Once you press them, just freeze them in bags and those bags are reusable. Just remove them from the bag, keep the bag in the freezer and use it again and again and again and you won't have to waste it. You can do it in paper, but the paper usually sticks in the freezer. So if you're gonna do it with paper, you have to remove them from the paper, from like the burger paper, and freeze them without the paper. Otherwise, it's gonna stick. Now, we're ready to cook our amazing arepas or tortillas. And they are so easy to cook of your panini grill, but it might take about a minute for a minute and a half if they're frozen and maybe 30 to 40 seconds if they're not. I like them really crispy, like crunchy. So I leave them a little longer. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious food, amazing mood.